Okay, I am going to introduce um, what I call is my delightful box. There has been a couple boxes that I try to subscribe to, but um, they were based in Canada, so my option of pavement would not go through, and they didn't have a PayPal option, so basically, this has just been recently that I did this. If there is a box that you can't order, and then if you know what is going to be inside that box, you go to that actual company that they're using to see if they're like based on whatever country you're in like as I'm in the United States or whatever so there was actually two products from two different boxes that I could not order from because somehow my payment didn't go through and I had the funds so it's not like I was trying to order something I didn't have any money in the bank so basically since I collect stuff and get stuff because I'm just like a spoiled person and I go shopping and I shop online and I shop locally and I just some of my stuff just accumulates and I get my snail mail I made what I'm calling is my delightful box which I will put all kinds of stuff in this box and then it, it's basically no different than a haul it's like a shopping haul and I will leave if there's um, any products from certain stores or online stores or whatever. I will leave the link below. So this is the box I did get that I will use like, you know, numerous times whenever I get enough stuff. And I think I'm going to have two or three videos coming up with just different stuff that I'm going to show you. I got this box at Michael's and it was like two bucks. So inside I have all kinds of stuff. I can't turn it too much or the stuff was going to fall out. Wouldn't this be awesome if you pay like 20 bucks flat rate and free shipping and got this much stuff in it? Wouldn't that be just awesome? Because in real life you know subscription boxes you get sample sizes. Well some certain boxes you do get full size but you don't get as much stuff like this. I mean check this out. Would this not? I mean look at that. That's just like awesome anyways this was one of the items I saw in one of the boxes I can't remember which box it was um and I mean I wanted to definitely try them out so I think it was the goddess provisions box that I wanted it's the same I've ordered vegan cuts beauty box and it's the same people that own it and I checked Vegan box is actually based in Canada too, but I got a box. I ordered a one-time box from them. I've actually ordered from their shop, and I, I'm not sure why my payment went through for Vegan box, and it wouldn't go through Goddess Provisions. But Goddess Provisions looks like a really nice box that I definitely wanted to try. But I do have one of the items in here that they're going to have in their debut box, um, and then the other box that. For some reason, I don't know where they're, I think they're based here in the United States, but for some reason my payment won't go through for them. I think they use the same kind of maybe payment, I don't know. And I'm trying to remember their um, Nourish box, I think that's another box. But I think in their box, their recent box, I think it's the Nourish box. I think this is what came in that box, and it's the tea, I think you say Pucka tea? And I've already tried this. I haven't tried it hot. I actually put it, mixed it in with my other like iced tea and I made it like sweet. So I had, I don't know what this is like, just like with just like the tea itself hot, but I always make my tea in, like the wrong way, like sweet tea. I'm a southern chick, so I love my sweet tea, but I do need to try this hot. So, but the packaging on this is just lovely. It's just beautiful. It's just gorgeous 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 look at that tree look how like I was about to say sweet <laughs> look how beautiful that is I mean you get all kind of packs of tea I can't remember exactly what I I think I ordered this from iherb.com my main two stores that I order from is iherb.com you get over $20 and it's free shipping and the natural um natural healthy concepts.com they're free shipping no matter if you order one item or not they just don't charge shipping at all so here is the box look how cute that is i had to 
this is not the end, it's just the beginning. Discover how puka teas make you come alive. I just love that freaking packaging of the tea. At first, this may seem like an ordinary box of tea, but look again, it's far from the ordinary. From inside Sachet sits from the world's finest herbs. Puka is organic, fair, fairly traded, and many cases fair wild. I just think the packaging, pink, gorgeous, so freaking cute. And I have like tea everywhere now, so I'll just put this right here and go on, keep going with my, my um, delightful box. I just got to show it again like this because would this just not be awesome if you get this every month for 20 bucks or even 25 or whatever. Okay, this is what was, I think, yes, that's going to be in the upcoming um, Goddess Provisions. Not two of them, but one of them. So I actually went to the actual website. They actually have an Etsy store and an actual website. And these were like $5 and like something since and that was with shipping and it's chocolate and they have all kinds of chocolate she's from i have not tasted these but they sound good they look good and the packaging alone is just so awesome i got the blueberry lotus and i believe this is the flavor i don't know for sure that's going to be in the goddess provisions box but again if you cannot order that box you can actually go to this website what is the website again um chocolita they have an etsy site and they actually have a website i ordered from the website it seems like the etsy site was a little bit more expensive and then pine pollen and lemon so i got two of them so i'm so excited to try these and i need to order another one for my daughter for her upcoming birthday at the end of this month okay so i got these two items from, um, well, no, I got this one from nat natural, naturalhealthyconcepts.com. You can actually see their sticker. And this is the Sweet Almond Hand and Body Lotion. And I have been using this, like, constantly, and it smells absolutely amazing. It's lightly scented, but it's scented just enough just oh my gosh it just smells amazing you just i mean if you like almond this is and look how huge this is this was like i think six seven dollars free shipping free shipping so what's wrong with my light Ooh, where is my light it's like so cloudy today whoa okay okay there's my light Okay, and here is another item I got from, not, I can't remember if I got this from Natural Healthy Concepts or iHerb.com, but they're basically almost kind of like the same store. This is the Aubrey Age Defined Therapy Moisturizer, and it seems like after I used this, I tried it out, it seems like my, my face broke out. I like had the hugest zit ever. I don't know if I'm allergic to like the sea buckthorn. I love the packaging. It's sleek. It's just like, I just love this packaging. It's sleek. It's like really nicely made, but the product itself, I think it broke me out and it doesn't actually, it does not smell that great. It's, it's not like totally putrid or whatever. I can't believe I used the word putrid, but it just seems like, I don't know something to get used to something I don't really want to get yeah it doesn't smell good at all it doesn't smell good I want to order some more stuff from Aubrey but I'm I'm so afraid that everything's gonna smell like this but I'm gonna give I'm gonna at least order one or two more moisturizers to make my final decision if not to ever order from Aubrey again but um I think I used this and I actually put it on my arm right here just to test it out and then it seems like the next day my tattoo was like whelped up so I think I might be I mean I can put this on my hand all day and my hand will be fine but I guess my tattoo like was whelped and then when I used it on my face it seems like so I think I might be allergic to this if I put it on certain parts of my of 
of my body. So if I like really rubbed it right here, I wonder if I would grow a horn and be a unicorn. I'm just kidding. Okay. So the several more items in my delightful box. I ordered this from, oh gosh, I can't remember. I'll leave the link below of pumpkin waffles. Okay, here it is. Here's um, goat milk and honey lotion. Um, sweet clementine soaps .etsy .com. This is just like right down the road, Canton, Georgia. I live in Dallas, Georgia, so this is like literally down the road. I mean, she's not that far. I guess it's a lady. She's not that far from me, and she makes check out her shop. She makes amazing, amazing products. This smells absolutely delicious. I mean, I've been using it. It comes so full. I mean, I don't think, I think this was, I think it was like 10 bucks, seven, ten dollars. I can't remember. I'll leave the link, but this is absolutely amazing. She makes all kind of scents. I'm sure her lotions are much better. I think she makes some kind of soaps check out her definitely check out her website um got a makeup brush it is so soft i got it from aliexpress i think it was like three bucks and then i got these two little bags with these like little lip gloss not lip gloss lip balm sorry i have a kiss me honey and chocolate let's see it smells okay it's not like the best in the world and then I got a coconut smoothie lip balm. And again, like some of this stuff, I can't remember if it's iHerb.com or natural. I'm just going to leave the stores. I'm not going to leave every individual product unless it's, you know, of course, something like this. But other stuff, I'm just going to like leave this natural, the stores, their names, and then um, you can maybe find the products there. Unless it's something that I absolutely know that came from here. See? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so my last item is the almond. What is this? Hurrah? Is that how you say it? Hur hurrah or whatever. And it's the almond lip balm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So this was my first delightful box. I hope who's ever watching this in YouTube land enjoyed this. And until next time, bye!